Systematic sampling. In this uh, method, the objects in the population are arranged in uh, such a manner that you can choose a starting position at random. Once the starting position is selected, there's a systematic method to get to the next object in the population based on the position of the previous. And the process continues until the desired sample size is gathered. So going back to the Moda Center layout, here's what this means. So now we have here our arena again. Now what will happen is I'll get one seat here completely at random. Let's say it's way up here. That's where it lands. Then all of a sudden, I'll have a systematic way to get to the next seat. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go in a circular fashion counting every 40th seat. So I, I figure out the ticket price for this one. Then I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to get to some 40. Let's say it landed right here. Then after that, I'll, that's my next spot. I'll find the ticket price for that and I'll keep going in this fashion. And let's say I go all the way around the stadium and then uh, again, this has to be predetermined. I will go 10 rows up and then go in a circular fashion again. Uh, go another 10 rows, go in a circular fashion. If I reach the top, like I count 10 and then it lands me at the bottom. Um, so I'll count, run out of space and then maybe go to the bottom. So again, I reach, I count it up, but there's no 10 rows. So then, you know, so it reaches seven at the top, but I need to go 10. So it goes eight, nine, 10, and then again, uh, that lands me in this spot, and I go every 40th one to go all the way around and keep going until I finally have enough. So that's how systematic ways. There's got to be a, a systematic way to get to the next position. Um, and, and this has to be predetermined before you pick the first sample. But the big thing is how to get that first sample. And then um, after that, it's like the, the, like the name implies, it's systematic after that. So for example, um, here I have all the sections, all the rows, and if there's, if this if this row doesn't exist for that section, then I'll just find a second one, another one, and then the seats. And again, the seats may not exist for that row, but um, I'll just find until I get one that does exist. Um, so again, just to sample that, I got 86 here for sections. So I'll just do something like this: ran between and one to 86, I believe I said. And that gives me, uh, I'll start in section 70. Oh, sorry, I said section 70, right? Oh, man. So section 70, or that's 318. Then I'll do the same thing for rows. Let me get another again, rand between 1 through 19. 10 so that's row J and finally one more time rand between um, 1 through 20 and looks like ooh, I got seat 20 so this may not even exist for that position but if not then I'll pick another one just I'll have a backup just in case that doesn't exist For that position five so that's that'll be my backup in case and now i can go back to my uh, stadium so so i got um row j seat 20 318. Okay, so here's a map here's section 318 row j and looks like 20 oh got the, <laughs> Got that one right there. So now let's say I go every 40th one. So there we go. That's my starting position. Get that number, get the tap price of that ticket, and then move across and continue until you get enough to uh, create a, a the right sample size.